Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we're doing What's Next Garage outdoor willow tree and red osier dogwood propagating. What that means is I'm going to take this, my new Fiskars anvil clippers, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to cut some branches off of our Wisconsin weeping willow and then red osier dogwood that we have in the back. So the process I'm going to use for the red osier dogwood is a process I learned from watching 80's Backyard Nursery and that's A-I-D-Y-S Backyard Nursery. So that's Adrian over in Ireland and he's propagating red osier dogwood and just regular green dogwood in boxes with sand. So if you're interested head over to his channel and does all kinds of propagating. He actually planted 2,000 daffodil bulbs last year. They all came up, this big gigantic carpet of yellow daffodils, and he ended up selling them all over there in Ireland to customers that came by. So head over to his YouTube channel. I will actually put a link down in the description below as well. I just want to say thanks, Adrian. I'm going to give this process a try, and hopefully I'll end up with great success like you have. So stick around. Here we go. It's a cold one today. We're sitting around 27 degrees and I'm just heading down to get some red osier dogwood and some Wisconsin weeping willow cuttings. And I think what I'm going to do this year is I'm going to actually rototill up a spot where I can then, once my cuttings start to root out, I'll bring them down here and nursery them down here until they're ready to get out there into the real world. And you can see the red osier dogwood, it's red, but I'll show you once we get close. You can see the deer eat all of this off. I have one special one I want to go down to where they haven't really chewed on it. You look and everything is all clipped off the top. So there is my dog what I want to get after. The deer haven't been after this one too bad. So you can see there's lots of nice, oh there goes some geese. That was scary. <laughs> they scared the daylights out of me. Okay. <laughs> now I hope nothing else is going to try and scare me. So I want to take cuttings off of this guy. So I'm going to take my cutting from down, pretty far down. And I, I don't know, like this little stick will probably work good too. So you're supposed to count one, two, three, four nodules and then you clip that and in this bottom nodule, you're actually gonna peel off. So I'm gonna clip it, you know, that would probably be the best would be this one, cause this one, I don't really notice any nodules. So we're gonna clip this guy here. Oh, this is so nice. And I brought along my bucket collector. And I'm just gonna continue to clip. This is kind of long, but we can make a couple out of that. Oh, that's really one, two, three, four. We're gonna cut it there. Um, one, two, three, four. We'll cut that there. And this is kind of a smaller shoot, but he's got one, two, three, he's got four. I'm getting a variation of sizes. Some that are pencil, some that aren't pencil thick, and some that are actually a little thicker than pencil. But we'll see how those work. Now the one thing that 80's Backyard Nursery I actually picked up is you can actually do hardwood cuttings, like oak trees. Um, I'm interested in trying those as well, I just have to do a little more research. So I got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I want to do 
maybe more. I got about 25. So this is a willow tree also, but I'm just not certain what type it is. I may be taking some cuttings from that, but I'm gonna head out. These willows, that one, that one, um, these big ones here, and, and all of those along the, the line there, I actually propagated all of those. That one out there, that one I propagated. Those are all propagated. All the willows back here were all picked up from willows at my mom's house. They're doing good. I'm gonna go pick up some cuttings from them and continue propagating more. I'm gonna just start taking these cuttings off. Ooh, my hands are cold. And the beauty of this is it's so simple and easy to do that if you have the room or if you want to sell them, like all of these that I do, I will replant back out here in the swamp. These I put in probably 10, maybe 15 years ago. And I've actually taken cuttings from it and put it elsewhere. This one's got a lot of nice growth on it. I've been having problems getting the fence line ones to go. This one, you can see that some in the back have died. A good handful of them. Oh, handful. Oh, my hands are freezing. Oof. Oh. Let's get one more. That guy right there looks good. Okay. All right. Okay. I think that's going to give us a good start. So now what I'm going to do is I'll head back up to the house. I'll get the vase full of water for the willow cuttings, and then I'll start putting all the sand in my box getting it watered, and then doing my right always your dogwood. Oh. Even these red cedars need to be caged. Otherwise they look like that pine tree over there. I'm going to do a mixture of cold and hot. Get that guy in there. That guy looks beautiful. Oh, that's a nice stick. Um, this guy's pretty thin. We'll get rid of him. So nice. And really, it's as simple as this. If you really have room for weeping willows, or you want to uh, sell, you know, propagate them and then sell them, there's probably, there's a market out there. But for me, I'm just gonna put them in the backyard. They can help suck up all that water. It's pretty wet. My first year I did these, I just stuck the sticks in the ground and they started growing, but I had a bunch of voles and mice and rabbits that girdled them. And that was the end of them. So this is what we got. This is what we're gonna propagate for willows. I don't know, there's a bunch in there, but hey, we'll root them out and grow them big. The one thing you gotta remember they're never going to grow if you don't start. So we're going to put them over here. And we put the willows right there. 
right by the sun. We got our all-purpose sand. Now it's washed, graded, and dried, and it says it's for concrete, flood control, gardening, sandboxes, weight, and traction control. But it does say gardening, so uh, Adrian, I think this might be like your builder sand. I just gotta get it opened up. I don't have a knife. Can you bring me a scissors? My wife was kind enough to let me use one of her boxes like this, which has this false floor in it with all these holes in it. Now it's gonna take a lot of sand, it's gonna go right through all that. Oh, I should put some landscape fabric on there. I think I'm gonna put landscape fabric on there. Okay, let's cut. One, two, three, four. Just cut all that off. And then, wait a minute. I don't know what you used, 80, but, I don't know what you used, Adrian, but this isn't, there we go. Alright, here's one I don't really see for, but I'm just going to nick it here, and we're going to see if it's going to go. Oops. I'm going to do the same with this one. We'll fill it with water and let her go. I don't have my outdoor faucet on yet, so I gotta go fill something up. Now we're just gonna put water in. This just does not seem right at all. I don't I can't I can't make this seem right. It just seems really weird. Because you would think that there should be some food or something in there. This bucket, if I overfill it, actually has some drain holes that it'll drain out. But I see the water is just sitting on there. I don't, I don't understand that. I got a lot of not understanding stuff here. I'm gonna actually push it this way because the floor is kind of sloped to the drain that I have in my greenhouse here. Well, that's the way that Adrian says will work to propagate the dogwood. Uh, let me tell you, it seems weird putting the sand and then putting the sticks in the sand. It seems weird. Yeah, make sure you head over to Adrian's YouTube channel. It's 80's Backyard Nursery. I'll link it in the description below. Here it is, all the way over in the States, from Ireland. Thanks, Adrian. That's gonna do it for this episode of What's Next Garage Outdoor Edition. Thanks for watching, have a great day.